Let's go ahead and talk about Binance's new CEO and his very interesting but not surprising connections. I'm also asking you to tag Conspiracy Talk because I would love to hear their thoughts on this. And yes, this directly correlates to BR and a CBDC. Earlier this week, Binance's CEO, CZ, was forced to step down by the DOJ and also pay a $4.3 billion fine. He's currently out on $175 million bail in the United States of America. And the charges that the DOJ brought up were sending illicit transactions. Is this ketchup here? Probably. Anyways, though, um, so illicit transactions happen everywhere. They happen in banks, they happen with cash, they happen on other crypto exchanges. And I wouldn't be surprised if there's illicit transactions happening on FTX. You know, that international company that ran away with billions and billions of dollars of customer funds. Um, they not only did not have to pay a fine, um, but the trial happened super fast. And keep in mind, Binance is still solvent. Now, I'm not saying that CZ and Binance are perfect. I am just trying to connect the dots here. And it has also been rumored that BlackRock's Bitcoin spot ETF will not get approved until America can kind of gain control of Bitcoin, which to me makes absolutely no sense. Reason being is, is because Binance is still operating, but they're not operating under new leadership. Binance's CEO is Richard Tang, and he is the CEO, Financial Services Regulatory Authority of Abu Dhabi Global Market. He's also listed on this website up here, WEF. Some of you know what that is. Well, how is BR related directly to WEF? Well, BR is very, very concerned about ESG. And same with WEF. The WEF is also a very big advocate for CBDCs. Take some time and put this together, but the crypto collapse with FTX was, in my opinion, 100% planned. And they've been wanting to destroy Binance for a very long time. Again, I'm not saying Binance is innocent. I'm simply saying that Binance was not given the same treatment that FTX was, and Binance did not steal customer funds like FTX did. And now we have this brand new CEO who nobody knows really who he is. He's listed on the WEF, and the WEF does have ties with BR. Go ahead and share this, stitch this, comment your thoughts. I'm here curious to hear what you guys have to say about this.